I'm Joan Condal from Spain, from Barcelona. I met Maha like two years ago and uh, from the first moment I felt a lot of compassion from him. So uh, it doesn't matter, it didn't matter what he was teaching or what, we, uh, what, what he was into because inside of myself I felt there, there was a big truth inside of, of all of the teachings. Um, what I what it really changed my life with Maha, it was that I began to accept uh, my body and my uh, dense part in, inside of myself. I mean, uh, I, I began to experience that I'm here to experience the life, um, trying to experience God inside of myself. Because uh, I had a lot of concepts of God, I had a lot of concepts of happiness, but now it's becoming to um, uh, be a truth inside of myself. And uh, during the seminars, um, what it really, um, it was a surprise for me, it was the creation of, creation of matter. Um, I came to the seminar because of I wanted to be uh, more grounded, um, but when, when, we, when I really did it, after I had some uh, big realizations, um, I remember I was one time in the nature, uh, walking, and I was really experiencing that uh, all of the plants, all the stones, uh, um, there were like um, another part of myself, no? So I felt a lot of joy with all of that, no? Um, if I can say something that it's really helped me, uh, Maha tradi Maharia tradition, is that uh, I'm finding my freedom, I'm finding my emancipation, and at the same time I'm, I can work with other masters, because at the same time I'm working with uh, other masters of India as well, so I feel freedom to uh, try uh, to find a, a middle point be between all of these traditions. Hello, my name is Bu Devi. I'm an Acharya for the Mahajriya Buddhist tradition. I have personally gone to seminars and met Maha Vajra for the past three and a half years, attending over 10 seminars. And I would like to share my experience that I have transformed significantly from being a very shy and hardworking person who did not feel that I deserved anything happy in my life to someone who can express myself freely and really enjoy the process of going through hard work and enjoyment. I would also like to say I've done really many cool things in Mahajriya, including supernatural abilities. These have included transmutation of matter, of liquids and solids such as cheese, to actually creating matter from thin air. So based on these experiences, I am so grateful and so happy with the work that I have done and all of Mahajriya. I met Maha Vajra about six years ago, and since then I have grown so much in my personal life and my happiness level has really increased. What we've learned with Maha Vajra is how to take care of ourselves and our emotions so that we can live a happier life. And it was just so much fun to realize that we had control over ourselves and that we could do something to help other people too. So Majriya has made a big, big difference in my life. Before I met Maha, I was depressed, I was unhappy, I was searching. Now I feel a level of contentment that is very beautiful and I'm very grateful. My experience with um, Mahavajra and the Mahashriya has been very transformational for me. It has truly shifted the way I see life and the person that I was before I started with Mahashri and the person that I am today is totally different. I have found a lot of inner peace. I have found myself. Um, and I just overall feel better about moving in life and being responsible and finding happiness, you know, in little things. And now, um, you know, it has been a gift to be able to share this with others. So for me, overall, my experience has been just a pure transformation, and I have received nothing but love, support, um, and yes, it has been a great experience. My name is Matt. I've been studying under Maha since the beginning of 2009. Uh, it's been an interesting experience. It's been also amazing. Uh, 
one of the favorite things that I have learned from him is instead of being in depression for weeks or months, I usually get over uh, depression in minutes to most usually a day. Uh, the other thing that has made, I've made me amazed is seeing several people come in uh, with all sorts of issues, depression, hating life, hating this, that, or the other, and then coming across them again several months later, and you can never tell that they were in such deep depressions. Um, so many of the techniques and things that he teaches have transformed my life, and I can see it's transformed everyone else's life. Um, so that's been my experience with Maha and the Mahadriya. Hi, I'm Nick, or Achuna Chakra. I'm studying the techniques from Mahavatra since um, around one year. And um, shortly said, I um, was never more lucky in my life than before now. Um, through, daily, um, through daily spiritual practices, um, I learned how I, I am in my natural life, how the human is built off, and um, through this understanding and more and more um, feel what is it about. Um, I understand not only myself, I understand the nature as itself, and um, that's a really good feeling to know who I am and to understand that it's nothing evil about it, about our human being. It's just nice and I love to embrace it. Thanks. Hello, my name is Nick Verberg or uh, Teja Sananta. I've been studying with the Majriya for about three years now, going to the seminars for about a year. And um, I've seen amazing results. I haven't studied with many teachers at all, but I don't really want to go anywhere else. Uh, we study a vi wide variety of things, uh, from Kuji in the city practice to all kinds of meditations. Uh, I would have to say the most amazing thing I've learned in the Majriya is the creation of matter. It's taught me that we can bring concepts from the level of soul into physical reality. Uh, we learned during seminar how to do the creation of sand. And it's uh, very beautiful because I learned that as a soul we can bring in so much more. We can bring in so much love into the world. And I'm very, very, very inspired by that. And I uh, just wanted to share that with everybody. hope that inspires you too. I am Suki Devi. I met Maha. About seven years ago, I went to his first seminar in the United States. I followed him there because I wanted to learn more about a martial arts meditation called Kuchian. Since that time, I've been studying more with him. Um, but I want to say I'm a normal person. I'm 57 years old. I'm a mother. I'm an accountant. I do the normal things everyone else does. Before I met Maha, though, I was living from a point of view of victim. I felt anxious a lot. I felt like people didn't treat me very well. And I was unhappy a lot of the time. When I did meet Maha at this seminar, I had been suffering for eight months a lot because I had lost another spiritual master. And to tell you the truth, I was afraid to meet him. I had studied a little bit with him online, but. I didn't want to feel the pain of losing a master that I loved again. However, Maha taught me to be autonomous, so I won't feel that anymore. I'm sure of it. Um, I have learned a lot of things with Maha. From that point of view of victim, I feel the change in myself over the past seven years, and now I feel that I live from a point of view of power. I have a power of softness. I have a power to make myself happy that I learned from the techniques that Maha teaches. And I have a power of manifestation that I never knew before. I moved from victim to power and manifestation. In small things in my life, to really big things like getting a job every time I need one. It just comes without me looking. Things like that but also some supernatural things. Um, 
Creation of Matter is the most recent one, and I have to be truthful, I was the biggest cynic before it happened to me. I didn't believe it. When I saw people around me saying it happened, I didn't believe it. And then I did it. <laughs> um, also, transmutation of matter, uh, a few other things that are fun, but they're not the real thing for me. The real thing is I learned how to be happy. Hello, my name is Shivagan. I've been studying with Mahavajra for seven or eight years, approximately. And one of the things that I enjoy most of his teaching is that he gives a lot of importance to the study of virtue, and because it helps us to encourage happiness instead of suffering. So it's the foundation of his teaching, and I consider that it's very useful for every human being to learn to behave in a, good, in a way that will help others instead of uh, causing pain. So that is something that is very present in all his teaching and that completely changed my life because instead of being angry at people, now I'm able to forgive them, to have compassion toward them, to remain in peace even when there is some fight or something happening, now I'm able to keep calm and that is very important in my life now. Then the second aspect that is very present in his teaching is the teaching about supernatural abilities. Um, under his guidance, I learned how to do creation of matter, transmutation of matter, teleportation, telekinesis, clairvoyance, in a way that it was easy or applying the wisdom it was possible to succeed it. And especially because he teaches that it's available for everyone. There are no chosen ones that are the one able to do it, but absolutely everyone applying the wisdom with patience and effort, they can succeed. So that is two aspects that I really enjoy of Mahavajra teaching.